All right, guys, it's Jernigam here. I've had a shave. I'm wearing my Horizon hat game, and I'm wearing my Dark Souls t-shirt. Anyway, I've watched most of Boris Johnson's speech today. It was pretty good. It was on the TV. I'm sure a lot of you guys and girls have watched it as well and told your friends about it. He's closed down pubs, cinemas, uh, parks, um, gyms. And let's try and think of what else he's closed down. Um, gatherings, only with two people or less. Um, he's asking the... I've got a finger on my finger on spot. He's asking the public to stay at home to stop this coronavirus. And he, and he reckons in three weeks um, he can sort it out and get a vaccine and um, stop the spread of the virus. But the thing is... There's not a lot of people wearing protective clothing. There's not a lot of people wearing gloves. I mean, I went into the local shop today near me, near the co-op, and I asked them why they got no masks in there, in the supermarket, you know, the store or a shop or grocery store. And they said they haven't got any. And I felt sorry for them. They haven't got no masks or protective gear. Same people in the hospitals. They've got no protective gear, and they were talking about, well, we need protective gear because of this coronavirus. It's a disappointment that the NH, well, the NHS is doing a very stressful job, but the people that provide the NHS with all the stuff, what they get and buy in and stuff, they can't even provide them with that. And uh, I watched a video with a warehouse on the TV, and they had tons of stuff of uh, masks and gloves in the warehouse, and they were saying, why haven't they shipped the masks and the gloves to the NHS and the hospitals around the country? It's diabolical, you know what I mean? We're in crisis in the UK. People don't like to follow rules. I can understand that. I don't like to follow rules either. But um, like like I say, um, there's only so much people are going to take. If people have been banned from the pub, going to the gym, and um, mixing with people, they're not going to like that. And I, you know, and they're, they're saying the country is going to be in lockdown. But uh, if people enjoy doing them sort of things, like going to the pub, meeting their mates, getting pissed and having fun, and they can't do that anymore, what are they going to do? Drink at home? Drink in the park? You know what I mean? And uh, there was a video with somebody sunbathing at a beach in this kind of crisis. I watched a video about a village, about people walking around. But uh, we, we all, at the end of the day, we're all human beings. We know what's going on. But the thing is, with this coronavirus, it's spreading like wildfire. It jump keeps jumping onto other people. It's like it's mutating. You ever seen the, it's like a film called Resident Evil, but there's no zombies in the world yet, as we all know. But I always have this thing at the back of my head: what if it mutates into zombies? And there'll be people like saying, "Oh, what are you talking about, Jernigan? There's no, there's going to be no zombies. But why are people dying? Why is this disease killing so many people?" And then people, some people will say, "Oh, uh, this disease is man-made. It's escaped from a lab." And you get other people saying, "Oh, it's not escaped from a lab. It's come from an animal." then why are so many people dying then? Why is 5,000 people died in Italy? Why is 300 people died in the UK of old people? Why is 18-year-olds getting the coronavirus? And why is 13-year-olds getting it as well? 30-year-olds, people like me. Why are they getting ill? If you've got lung problems and heart problems and cancer, which I had as well, uh, two years ago, the cancer, and uh, some people are not so lucky than other people, there's something not they're not telling us, the government. And... Uh, when Boris Johnson did his speech today, he seemed very worried in his face. He looked like he was crying, Boris Johnson, always under a lot of pressure. I mean, he's our Prime Minister, for going to say. You know, if we want to go out to the shop, we can't. If, we, if there's an excuse, we can go out to the shop and get some food and groceries. If you are out more than longer than expected, the police can give you a fine. I mean, I thought we were going on lockdown and the, police, the army were going on the streets, but obviously the army are helping out the old people with the parcels. I mean... Doesn't make any sense. Are things going to go worse? I mean, is this the end of the world? Is this what is expected of us? Is, is God done us some purpose? But some people may say and may think it's a joke. I mean, I don't find it's a joke either. I tell you what, it'd be some kind of sick prank if the government are doing this on purpose to, to people, to wise people up. It's r ridiculous. Um, You know, Boris Johnson said people can go for a jog during the day, stay with families. Yeah. Uh, don't go mix with more than one people. Stay in the house. If your friends ask you to go out with them, join them. Say no. What, what, what is, there's something 
not totally right with this virus. It's not right. The person that's done all the spreading of the coronavirus, if they can get the main person that's doing the spreading, then the coronavirus should be over, in my opinion. But how are you going to know who the main person is doing the spreading? You don't know because it just keeps jumping to person to person. You infect one person, could be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thousand people, two thousand, three thousand. That's what they're saying in the news. It affects so many people. But you know, some people cannot stick to the rules. That's what the government is saying. And they're pleading people to stay at home to save people's lives. But, you know, if you want to be walking outside, I mean, <laughs> I mean, is it really as bad as it is? I mean, some people are saying, saying it is. I mean, London's got the most affected areas. So is Italy. So is Spain. I don't know about France or anywhere else. I mean, you know, it's ridiculous. You know, people, you know, each time somebody dies of corona, they're losing a loved one and a family member, which I mean, it hurts them more in there. They get a lot of pain and, and hurtful and suffering. That they don't want to see their family members die of this bad disease and illness. Nobody does. You know, you, we always try our best for people and try and help people and trying to come together. I mean, when it was the Second and First, first World War, even though people were fighting and killing each other, people tried to come together in this. You know, I feel sorry for the old people. What are they going to do when they've got no people to help them, no family members or friends? I mean, some people have friends and old people have friends, but not everyone. You know, it's it's, it's diabolical in my opinion. I, I keep saying that, guys, but that's how I feel. You know, there's something not right about it. You know, just you get that feeling inside. I mean, I kept dream dreaming about something's going to happen. Nothing like this. Some people would say... If people dream about war, they're sick. If people dream about corona or whatever else. But the thing is, I want everybody to be as safe as just as everybody else, vice versa. I mean, I may talk about war and stuff, and some people don't like talking about war, but what can you do? You know, we have to wear a mask. Some people have been, when I went out today to the game shop, people were wearing like masks like that, like, like kind of, uh, I have to show you what the mask, just a minute, I'll get the mask. There's different types of masks anyway. But... <laughs> Right, I'm going to place the phone up here, guys, so you can see me. I had this problem the last time when the phone was there. Hold on a minute. Why is the phone standing up? Oh, my God, not again. You know, it's so silly when the phone... Just, there you go. Like I was saying, there was a few people wearing these masks. Like these. These are for painting and decorating. But the thing is, if you're wearing this on your face... Take my hat off, actually. If you're wearing this on your face, is it going to protect you? Really, is it really going to protect you? Or do people need better, you know, better things to actually help them with the coronavirus? Because a lot of people are worried about general things. If you're wearing a mask, if you're wearing this, will this really protect you against the corona? But a lot of people don't know. This is paint and decorate, but it's got a filter. Some of them have filters this side. Some of them have filters the other side. But the thing is, what you're supposed to really do in a crisis like what we're in now, is a lot of people don't know what to do. You know, loads of people are worried. I'm going to take this off again. I only put the mask on for a minute to show you guys an example of what people are doing. I mean, all the health people are worried about it. You know, you know we're supposed to be living in a people where people care, and a country that people care about people. But obviously not. They'd rather take all the food, all the toilet rolls. What are the toilet rolls going to do? Stop you from the coronavirus? You know, there's not enough people that actually think here when they do stuff. They'd rather take and take and take and take and take. Don't share with anybody else. That's horrible. I'm sorry, guys, if I sound a bit angry, but it's true. You know, we're all in this together as people, as human beings. You know, I watched a video with a woman 
she was going through coronavirus and there was a guy that came back from somewhere and he was going for coronavirus as well and he's only young as well I didn't think he I think he came from somewhere I don't know if it's Wuhan but he came from somewhere and they brought and they brought a lot of people from the coaches back from Wuhan as well um everybody's scared about it we're all fearful of thinking he was going to die next it's like a time bomb it's like um time's ticking we all die one day but this is not a thing to die some people like to live a lot longer in life and see what's out there because there's a lot of things out there it just irritates me because you would have thought they would have had a vaccine by now but they keep pushing things back they can't seem to find the right chemicals for the vac- vaccine the scientists and these people that make vaccines are having a real real big job trying to find the right chemicals to mix together to make the vaccine in my opinion and they just haven't found it yet you know can it be three months (coughs) 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 i was coughing a bit (coughs) (coughs) that mask is a bit dusty (coughs) don't worry about that anyway i'm trying to breathe that mask is still quite dusty um, what I'm saying is, it's ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> I mean, is the air going to be polluted eventually? I mean, I played a game called Division 2 on the PS4. That could be like the corona, but some people say it's not. I don't know where the, this world's going at the minute. A lot of people are confused. You need still need more incubators for people to breathe. I've got asthma myself. <clears throat> I've got asthma myself. I have to take inhalers. You know, we've lost a lot of people yesterday, and it's gone up to three hundred and thirty-three. Uh, when it go up again tomorrow, more people that are going to die. You see, the more time they take trying to understand the vaccine or making the vaccine. More people are going to die. They're going to have to make rational choices to save some people. Um, You know, it's a hard job that they do. I understand that. But, you know, it's not nice to lose a loved one and a family member. I lost my mum with breast cancer and it still hurts me from today. I lost one of my parts down below, my testicle, uh, one ball. And some people may laugh at me and take the piss out of me. I I don't care what they think about whether they're going to laugh about that silly thing. That's that's just in my opinion. That's horrible. If someone was going to laugh at me about that. Until they get the illness themselves, then they start to realize and hear what life's about and appreciate life a bit more. In my opinion. But anyway, what are we going to do? Is it going to get better? Is it going to get worse over the weeks? Did the army? Will the army have to be, be drafted in in the UK? I mean, in Italy, they're drafted in. You've seen them in the trucks and stuff. I don't know what's going to happen. I think we're all confused at the moment. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Give it a like, give it a comment. I will be back again to talk about more general stuff. Hope you all enjoyed it. Give it some thought what I've said, and I will see you next one. All right, guys, peace.